Stormy Daniels revealed what it's been like now that Donald Trump's hush money trial came to an end and he was found guilty of falsifying documents. I don't know if I've quite processed it yet, Daniels, 45, said while appearing on Good Morning Britain on Tuesday, June 4. I made the mistake of thinking that it would be like a movie, that the verdict would be the end and finale and it would just end and the credits would roll and life would go back. We still have the sentencing, we had the fallout from that and I don't think that my life will ever be normal," she continued. Daniels also revealed her decision behind wearing a bulletproof vest to court. It's not so much Trump, she explained. We have a man who has been accused of inciting the January 6th Capitol riots and encouraging his followers to react violently, and I got some serious death threats daily against my family, daughter. The blonde beauty has been open about how she's received graphic and horrifying threats ever since she came forward about the ex-president, 77, but it was on email that threw her off. I showed it to some law enforcement friends here in Florida and they said, you know what, it's better safe than sorry. You're not gonna regret wearing this if someone shoots at you, Daniel shared. I was pretty sure that somebody would do anything to stop me from getting on the stand. As OK previously reported, Daniels came out on top after she was allegedly paid off by Trump to keep quiet about their alleged prior tryst before the 2016 presidential election. While talking to the Mirror, she gave her opinion on what his next move should be ahead of the 2024 election. I think he should be sentenced to jail and some community service working for the less fortunate or being the volunteer punching bag at a women's shelter, she told the publication. He is completely and utterly out of touch with reality. Daniels also admitted taking the stand, in which she spoke about her intimate night with Trump, was nerve-wracking. You always feel like you're the bad guy, even when you're not just being up on that standard. Being in court was so intimidating with the jurors looking at you, but I'm glad that the stuff came out in court that wanted to come out and prove, like I said, I've been telling the truth the entire time. It's it's not over for me. It's never going to be over for me. Trump may be guilty, but I still have to live with the legacy she shared.